my name is Pooja Arora, Assistant Professor in Bayani Group of Colleges and on behalf of GuruKPA.com, I am giving video lectures on the subject of discrete maths and in our last lecture, we have already discussed the SAT, type of SAT, operations on SAT and today, we are going to discuss about one diagram. What actually the Venn diagram is, uh, Venn diagram is nothing but the graphical representations of set. We can represent a set in a graphical manner uh, that way is called Venn diagram. So, uh, how we represent graphically uh, in the Venn diagram is, if we want to represent a universal set, we will represent by this symbol a rectangle and if we want to represent a normal set, we will represent it by a circle. So, only these two symbols are used in Venn diagram, no more symbols is used in the Venn diagram to represent any set. If you want to represent any set, if it is a universal set, use this symbol and if it is a normal set, use a circle to represent. For example, if I have a set A, 1 comma 2, then a circle will be represented as a set A. Inside the circle, I will write the numbers 1 and 2 elements of the set and I will put it in the rectangle because every set has a universal set. So, I will represent this outer set as universal set and this is a set A. So, this is a Venn diagram of this set. This is an example of Venn diagram. So, this is a basic Venn diagram, but then we have studied the operations on set that is union, intersection, set difference, semantic difference and complement. So, one by one we can also represent these operation with the help of Venn diagram. So, let us take an example. For example, I would like to I would like to represent union operation with the help of Venn diagram. What the union operation is basically, union operation is as we have already studied that uh, combination of two set means all the elements of set A and all the elements of set B without repeating the common elements. So, if I have a set A is equal to 1 comma 2 and set B is equal to 2 comma 3 comma 4, then union of A and B is 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, how we get this set is already I have mentioned in my last video. You can see that to get the union operation. Today, I am going to discuss that how to represent this union set with the help of Venn diagram. For this, I will represent this. This is for universal set and I will mention two set, set A and set B. Okay? So, I will make two circles this is for A and this is for B and I will write the elements 1, 2, 2, 3, 4. This is what I have taught you here, but then I will see that 2 is a common element between 1, A and B. So, what is the best way to represent this type of set which have the common, some common elements? What I will do? I will do it like this. This is set A and this is set B and I will put the common element is between because it represent this area represent the common element because 2 is also in the boundary of set A, 2 is also in the boundary of set B, circle B, circle A. So, it is represented by the common elements okay? and the remaining elements are 3 and 4. So, this represent my set A and set B in the Venn diagram. Okay, then uh, we will represent A union B. A union B include 1, 2, 3, 4, all the elements. So, what we do? We highlight the area in which the set represent. Okay. So, if I want to highlight A union B, I will represent it by this. I will mark it. I will line it. So, this area is called the A union B. Here you can see uh, all the covered area have the element 1, 2, 3, 4 without repeating 2. There is no repetition of 2, it is only a single time. So, in this manner we can represent the union operation in the Venn diagram. Let us take one more example to make it very clear. Okay. Uh, in the next example, same thing I am repeating, I am drawing a Venn diagram for the union operation. For example, I have elements like A, E, 2, 4 and here I have 2, B, C, then E, then 1, uh, 4. Okay. So, what will I do? I will find a union for these set. 
I will uh, the reunion will be 1 comma 2 comma 4 A B C comma E. This will be the union the set of all an event including both of the set. Okay, so I will draw a Venn diagram. Look, here also we have some common element just like 2, 4 and E, 2, 4 and E are the common elements. So, we will draw the diagram like this as the previous one, this one and in this area I will write the elements of set A, in this area I will write the elements of set B and in the area middle of 2 I will write the common elements. For example, what are the common element 2, 4 and E? these three are the common elements what are the remaining elements 1 comma a and uh, 2 4 e these three are common okay in this set 2 is already there b c e and 4 are already here so this is the way i represent set a and set b with the help of venn diagram and if we want to highlight the union of these two so i will highlight all the elements this one. So, this shaded area is called the union. So, this is the way we represent union operation with the help of Venn diagram. Okay. And uh, okay, if we move about the next operation that is intersection that is quite easy. And I hope you remember the definition of intersection which I to taught you in the last lecture. What is intersection? Intersection is nothing but the common elements in both the set. Of. Only the, uh, these common elements are set of these common element is called the intersection. Okay, so if I want to find the intersection of these uh, two set, what will I get? Two, four, and e. Because these three are the common elements as we have already discussed. And how to draw a Venn diagram of the intersection operation? Okay, this is set A. This is set B, set A, set B, 1, A and 2, 4, E and B, C. Okay. This is the representation of set and I want to highlight only the common elements because intersection imp implies only the common elements. So, I will shade. The shaded area is represent the answer of uh, intersection in the way of Venn diagram. So, it is a Venn diagram of intersection. This is the way to represent any operation in Venn diagram diagrammatically. Okay. So, with the same example I can go with any of operation. For example, I have already discussed about the union, about the intersection and what if I want to uh, represent set difference. Set difference is if I want to uh, get A minus B. What is A minus B? A minus B is nothing but uh, element of set A which are not present in set B. I have already traced the definition. So, elements of set A for example, 1 not in B, uh, B A, okay. 1 and A only because E, 2 and 4 are already in set B. So, we can't take it. So, A minus B set will be only A and 1, okay. So, how we represent it diagrammatically is that is A, that is B. And that is 1, A, 2, 4, E, B and C. So, how we represent the set A minus B in the Venn diagram is only this portion because it does not include the common elements. So, this include this area only. So, this area represent the set difference operation with the help of Venn diagram. Okay. Why, we, why I write the elements here? Just to, to become more easy easy for you to draw the lines because you this can relate that 1 and A will be the answer. So, you can uh, only shade this area. So, th it is not ne necessary if you uh, have to answer only that uh, what is the Venn diagram for set difference you have to do like this only you need not to write the elements. But then if I have an example I write the elements here to understand it betterly that what is the area to represent the set difference. Okay. And as I have told, already told you that set difference A minus B is not equal to set difference B minus A. Okay. And what is B minus A for this particular example? If I get B minus A then what will I get? I will get uh, B and C. 
because b minus b minus a is nothing but elements of set b which are not present in set a so if i want to shade this b minus a in my venn diagram what will i do i will do like this this is the area represent b minus a because these are the elements which are not in set a uh, here i have 1 a 2 4 e and here i have b and c so this horizontal line is a minus b and vertical lines are b minus so these two are different operations and i have uh, mentioned both of them in the same venn diagram with two, two different representation one with horizontal lines and one with vertical lines okay so this is the venn diagram of set difference okay let's move about the next operation of set that is symmetric difference and uh, symmetric difference is nothing but Uh, apart from common element i have all the elements of set a all the elements of set a but then i don't include the common elements so the venn diagram will be like this 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 area will be covered and this area will also will be covered only the common part uh, area will not get covered okay so this is a diagram of symmetric difference if i get the symmetric difference of the set what will i get i do not include the common element other than common element i will include each and every element for example 1 a b and c this is a set of symmetric difference and i will shade like this this is a venn diagram of symmetric difference okay and uh, now let's uh, talk about the next operation that is complement of a set c c is means complement of a uh, set or i can represent it by ac means uh, complement of set a b a dash or a bar these all are representation of the complement set okay so uh, for complement uh, to find the complement of the set we must have a universal set for example i have a universal set like 3 uh, uh, Five one two three four five, and I have a universal set that is X, where X is X belongs to n natural numbers, and X must be less than ten. So I define a set here that universal set. What is a universal set for me is a X natural numbers which are less than ten. So it will be start from one and go to nine one two nine because it is less than ten. So if I want to find the complement of set A. complement of set a will be the elements which are not in set a but will be in the universal set so uh, 1 2 3 4 5 are already in set a so what are the remaining elements 6 7 8 and 9 these are the remaining elements which are not in set a so it will be represented in the complement 7 8 and 9 this is a set of complement of a and how will i represent this with the venn diagram this is for universal set u and this is for set a in which 1 2 3 4 5 are here and i want to shade the complement of set a complements of set a means the elements which are not present in set a so i'm going to shade all the area apart from a i will not include a other than a i will include all the area so this area represent the complement of set a with the help of venn diagram so in this way i have already discussed all the operations uh, union intersection set difference symmetric difference and complement with the help of venn diagram you can draw venn diagram to show any of the set any set any element you can draw a venn diagram only you have two symbols one is rectangle for the universal set and one circle for the any any set any normal set it is represented by the circle so this is all about venn diagram in your exam you can get a question like uh, uh, draw a venn diagram for a particular operation or if you uh, have an example and uh, you will ask uh, you can ask about the operation of operation any operation just like find the symmetric difference of these two set and also represent this with the help of venn diagram and one more point i want to include in my video is 
this topic Venn diagram is also very important for the competition exams because uh, reasoning it's also include uh, in the reasoning part in reasoning questions I, I you also get a question about Venn diagram so uh, this is very important topic if you find this video useful for you please like comment and share the video on YouTube and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you